Hi there, I'm Bob. I'm a dairy farmer, milking about 70 cows. I took over my family's farm 15 years ago, and I'm proud to say my herd's production has gone up. I want to improve. That's why I was so concerned a couple years back when I found out there were cows with Yoni's disease in my herd. I had bought a few replacement heifers, and it turned out one of them was infected with Yoni's. I had no idea. I now know the risk of buying in animals. I appreciate the saying, diseases are bought and paid for. Fortunately, I spoke with my vet, and together we made a plan to shut the door on Yoni's. The best part was, the changes didn't really cost that much. It just required a change in the way I did a few things. We made a neat whiteboard video telling the story of how we dealt with it on my farm. I think my farm's pretty typical, so I hope my story gets farmers thinking, and more importantly, talking to their herd veterinarian about changes they could make to prevent yonis. Since then, I've been elected to my local milk committee. We're a group of dedicated farmers that represent dairy producers from our home counties to our provincial marketing board. We get together to discuss and make decisions about issues that could impact our farms and industry. Lately, there's been a lot of talk about yonis and the importance of preventing yonis from spreading in our herds. Since dealing with it myself, I know the key is to focus on managing calves to prevent them from eating infected manure. It's that first manure meal you need to stop. And you know, while my job as a dairy farmer is to look after my own cows and farm, Dairy farming is my livelihood, so I also care a lot about the quality of what my farm produces and how well it sells. I want the milk from my farm to be the safest, highest quality in the world. Consumers expect and deserve wholesome dairy products from healthy cows, and that's what I plan on giving them. So Yoni's is not welcome on my farm. Since joining the milk committee, I'm more aware of the issues around the marketing of milk. I've come to realize that there's more to the Yoni story than just my struggle on my own farm. In Ontario, Canada, where I live, the latest research shows that about one quarter of our dairy herds have at least one cow that will be positive on a test for Yonis. Quite a few have more than one cow, so it's a problem that needs to be addressed right here at home. Keeping on top of Yonis is a long-term project. We all need to persist with our Yonis prevention practices as part of our routine farm management and to work Yoni's testing into our herd health plans. It's not a one-off type of situation, that's for sure. I recently heard Dr. Mike Collins, an American veterinarian and Yoni's researcher, speak about Yoni's and dairy herds. He explained that Yoni's bacteria might be important for human health. Apparently, research has shown that some Yoni's bacteria survive the pasteurization process. And these bacteria may actually play a role in Crohn's disease in some people. We don't know for sure, but if it turns out these bacteria are a food safety risk, or even if people start to think it's a risk, then that's a big issue for milk's reputation as a healthy product. Researchers have even created models to look at what impact consumer concern might have on milk sales. One American study showed that if milk demand dropped by just 1%, the U.S. dairy industry could lose nearly a billion dollars in revenue. I don't think we can afford to wait around for a link to be confirmed or for someone to force us to meet standards. We need to take proactive steps to deal with Yonis now while we have time. I talked to Dr. Collins after the meeting. He told me that he thinks Canadian farmers and their veterinarians have the knowledge and the tools to deliver milk and milk products with a very low risk of contamination with Yonis bacteria. He was impressed by Canadian producers' involvement in setting up our regional control programs, too. I'm proud of our Ontario program. We're doing our part to reduce Yoni's infection in Canadian dairy cows and herds. We're educating veterinarians and dairy farmers, offering different herd testing options, funding research on new Yoni's control methods, and focusing on ways to motivate changes in how we do things in our farms. A big focus of the program is fostering teamwork among producers, their veterinarians, and industry organizations, so they can work together to prevent yonis on the farm. It's all about finding the most efficient and effective ways to keep Ontario's herds healthy and ensure safe dairy products. I participated in the program. In fact, over 50% of producers in my home province of Ontario have voluntarily participated. 
this is a good start. I'm happy to see so many of my fellow producers are taking this seriously. But I also think we can and need to do better. I've heard some producers challenge the program, saying it doesn't help us sell more milk, but, you know, I don't think this program is about selling more milk. It's more about preserving the milk market we already have. The program might not be perfect, but it's the right thing to do for our industry and our customers. I've heard that other countries are taking similar approaches to tackle Yoni's disease. They have national programs with testing, risk assessments, and vets helping to keep producers on track with their prevention program. I'm pleased to hear this because Yoni's control is important for all of us. Diseases don't obey political borders, and the reputation of a product can easily be damaged. So we have to work together on the farm, regionally, nationally, and internationally. I've learned there are lots of good reasons to focus on Yoni's control. Everyone benefits. Yoni's prevention is important for on-farm production, animal care, and milk quality. So keeping Yoni's under control and off my farm is a top priority. This disease doesn't go away easily, and control can be tough, but it's not impossible. We must stay the course, and we must work together. This is important to me, because at the end of the day, I want the milk and milk products Canada produces to be safe for me, my family, and my customers. So as a Canadian dairy farmer, I'm proud to say that my industry is working together to control Yoni's disease, so we can continue to provide safe, high-quality milk in a sustainable way, from grass to glass.